Hey, this is YBR with Demon G Drive. We're doing something a little different today. We're already in the game, as you see, which is really different usually. But um, anyways, what we're doing today is we're going to see if a car can run out of fuel. Because somebody asked me once, and you know, there's one way to do it is I could look it up and see what somebody else came with, came up with, and just state what they said. Or I could do it the fun way where I figure it out myself. So I've been driving around for a while now, and if you look at the dash, that is the need fuel or gas light. And it just recently came on, so I'm assuming I can't have that much time left to have fuel, but who knows. But I'm going to keep recording until I run out, which could be a while. Honestly, I don't know. We're going to find out. So we're just going to... We've been driving along this map. I think it's called Desert Road. It's just a bunch of long straights like this. I'm in the stock gravel uh, off-road edition. And we've just been cruising along carefully not to damage it or anything like that. So far, I haven't damaged it, which is great. Because if I damaged it, then I have to restart all over. But yeah, it just recently came on to red. So it's just a waiting game now. A long, boring waiting game, probably. Who knows? This thing is at high speed, though, for a truck like this, you know? It's been at high speed the whole time, but it still feels crazy. It's like the way it sounds, it's like you're gonna blow it up or something. But nope, it doesn't blow up. And if you wanted to get technical, you could probably look at these numbers and figure out fuel or something. Jesus. Oh no 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 no! Not after all this, I'm not spinning out now because I'm trying to look at numbers. Fuel, 0 0.84. So, I don't know how good of a number that is, but there is a number to go with it. We're at 0 0.84 out of, I don't know, 83, 82, 82, 82 is holding, 81 is not yet. So, 81. So, it's going to take a little bit of time. You know what? I'll, not that I have that cheater number up, I'm going to actually just cut the video for a bit and come back once I get a smaller number up, actually. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. I could just run with it, right? How long could it take? Let's see. I'll try to time it. Um, I can do this. So if I wait for it to change to 7.7. Seven. problem is i got to change views. Do this view for now. So seven six. It's not even there. Seven six. How long does it take to get to like seven four? All right. It takes about twelve seconds. So if it's seventy left, it's going to take thirty five times twelve, which is like six minutes thereabouts really rough estimate I know I'm trying to make sure I don't crash here and if we go faster it'll be faster so that's good news seven zero Six nine. So yeah, let's just keep driving. I'll go ahead and take away the cheater menus though. So that way it'll be more of a surprise. We'll take a bit. Oh goodness, oh goodness. Sorry about that. I uh, had something come up and I had to take a pause and I had to just let the car coast. I'm actually quite lucky it didn't fall off and flip over. That's that would have pissed me off after all this. Flipping the car over because I got distracted. That would piss me off. I'm sorry I had to mess with my microphone too. The distraction screwed everything up, man. I got actually really messed with it. So I'm going to fix that real quick. Alright, 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 alright. We're good. And uh, what number are we at now? Is it any much different? It's 6 3. So we're getting there. Slowly but surely. And if you don't want to watch me just blabber about nothing, you can just skip to the end to see what happens, you know? 
So 6-0. Six, 6-0, six, oh. six, oh, that means about probably six minutes left. Let's just go with that. That's just rough estimates. That means I've been driving this road for way too dang long. That's for one thing. That's all I know. Let's see, what's it at now? 5-7. That's great. Try to check back in a minute or so. Gotta slow down just a smidge through here. See, I know this now. I know exactly where to slow down just so I don't spin out or anything. Because I've been doing it for so much. The other thing I learned is don't try to churn and brake at the same time. Just brake. And once you slow down, you churn. It's the safest way to do things. Otherwise, you'll just end up crashing and dying. And that ruined my first attempt. Just one of them. I don't remember which order I lost in, but it ruined an attempt and it made me very, very sad because I put a lot of effort and then, oh, we're flipping. And my car was non-functional for the most part. No. no. You're good. Right? Oh, perfect. Oh my goodness. The light is still on. What number are we at? We're almost at 4.7 now. We're getting there. Just keep driving, just keep driving. This reminds me of when I used to play Euro Truck Simulator, man. Same exact thing, except we're going a lot faster and it's a lot more stressful. Because Euro Truck, it's like, oh, I hit a car, here's a $10 fine. I don't care, I got stacks on deck, man. I don't need to worry about little things like that. Here, it's like, if I flip over, I gotta do everything again. And it's just like, oh, man, I don't want to do everything again. Because this is this also kind of like Desert Bus Simulator to some extent. A simulation of a video game. Yes, that's what I mean. It's simulating Desert Bus. We're in a desert, but we're in a, a, a truck instead of a bus. And we're driving and 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 driving. And we just keep driving. That's all we can do. You don't even get a, a reward like you do in Desert Well, you don't get a reward in Desert Bus, do you? I don't know. I've never played it personally. I've seen the fundraisers for it, but that's about it. Anyways, that's what I've been doing for the last... Um, well, you can actually figure out how long I've been doing this. This video is probably about... Based on the numbers I'm seeing, I'm thinking it's going to be about 10% of the total time it took. So if this video is 10 minutes long... It took me a hundred minutes, or just under two hours, to do this. Ay, yeah, yeah, what a waste of time. Total waste of time, man, but I'm gonna figure it out. Do the cars actually run out of gas? Yes or no? We're gonna figure it out one way or another. We're at three, four now. We're getting closer and closer. Every time I look at that number, I sway off into the dirt. I need to just don't look at that, because I'm gonna flip over in the last three, percent or whatever and we're gonna cry because we're in the last three percent right now basically or the last 3.4 percent so it's scary also the reason I chose this car is just because it handles the bumps in the road the best like it's just like bump bump and it just kind of smooths over them you see those look at that suspension go all right, enough of that. I'm gonna spin out or something. I just I don't want none of that. I just want to say it's been a good car to me. It's doing a great job. Almost flipped over a minute ago. That was so scary, but it it's good. All right. So I'm guessing we're at about two something right now. Just rough guesses, you know? And I'm fine with that. But like some of my questions are, will the lights still function? Because, you know, in real life, and versus game, it's a question of, will it? Who knows? Can the battery die? That's another question now. 
So now I'm gonna just be sitting here watching the car with the lights on, right? For like five hours straight. I don't think the battery could die or something, right? Something really dumb like that. Part where we need to slow down just a bit. Just go off the road and churn smoothly, don't need no flips. Slow it. Slow on these churns. That's the one thing, I just gotta make sure I don't flip over. Otherwise this car is solid. I bet we're down to like the last 1% or so right now. I'm gonna try to do a check real quick at the numbers. Numbers say, oh, we're still at the last 2% or so. We're at 17 or 16 or 1.6% 1 left. We are getting so close. I'm gonna know soon what happens. It's, it's either gonna keep running or not. It's really, there's only two possible solutions. It doesn't seem like it runs any different. It just keeps on chugging. Even if it's like barely able to get any fuel to the engine, it don't care. So close. So close. Oh man, we're getting so close. We're within one percent. That's so excited. Like this is the long, like for you this isn't as bad as me. This build up man has been ridiculous. Like I said, about two hours I would guess of just driving and it's just like whoo. Alright, might as well switch the interior camera because it's soon. It's real soon. It's gonna be like within a minute I would think. I'm just, I'm guessing like 30 seconds left of fuel. Come on. I'm gonna slow down just a smidge because I'm scared now. I, I can't mess it up here. There's just no way. I think it's, wait, it's, it's done. I'm holding the gas and nothing's happening. We ran out of gas. We ran out of gas. Uh, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Ran out of gas, look at that. Look at that, it worked, it worked, it worked. Oh my goodness. I can't accelerate anymore. Look at, look at the number. Zero. Ran out, you can hear the engine running still if you listen real close. How does that work? What if you put in the manual and shift in the neutral? Nope. Oops, that's not a minute. So the lights still work, so that's good. They're functional like they should be. But I was curious, you know, if there's like, if the battery, well, you know, the way the game is made, if it actually had the, the lights separate from the engine, you know? And they are. Although the engine makes sound sometimes, like right now. You can hear it, probably. I don't know how that works. I like that the low fuel light is on even though it's totally empty, it's just funny. It's like, I know there's low fuel. I can put, I can stop it and that's about it. Alright. So this has been YBR trying something dumb. And there's the answer for what happens when you run out of fuel. Till next time. I'll see ya.